all right ladies and gentlemen so thank you so much for accessing this video this video is all about what astrological combination make a successful engineer so basically the planet mars signifies engineering field so mars is the primary planet which signifies engineering and for career it is basically saturn saturn is the karaka for career profession professional status and everything so if at all you have mars and saturn placed in the fourth house fifth house 7th house, 9th house and 10th house then let's say Mars in the 4th house and the Saturn in the 7th house it's like that it should be in anywhere between 4, 5, 7, 9 and 10, 10th houses that brings a successful position in terms of a successful uh, in terms of engineering background because most importantly Mars is a significator because for engineering it's all about to do with the people something to do with the people is all done by the Mars Mars is the action taker. The action taker Mars can able to do, able to provide a successful engineering career in your life. And it's not just because, just only Mars. Mars becomes the primary contributor for engineering field. There are other planets which takes its own role in terms of providing the successful engineering. So what kind of engineering depends upon the which planets is placed on the fourth house and the fifth house. That kind of studies will be doing it. And whether you will continue becoming an engineer in the same field or you'll become engineer in a different field it's all depends upon the planetary alignment in your birth chart let's say if at all you have fourth house lot or fifth house lot staying in the tenth house then obviously we'll be doing the engineering pertaining to that education which you have done in the graduation or post graduation if at all you have ninth house lot placed in the tenth house or eleventh house then that brings up uh, money or a profession or uh, career prospects in terms of uh, uh, from the post graduation you will be doing the job which is related to your post graduation so they should be linked between the fourth house lot fifth house lot or at least the nakshatra equivalent kind of alignment should be there and d4 chart has to be analyzed for the D, for the educational prospects and d10 chart has to be seen for the career prospects so let's say as i mentioned to you if mars is the significator of fourth house and fifth house in your birth chart then mechanical engineering, electrical engineering and power engineering will be suitable for you. And let's say Rahu is involved in the 4th house or 5th house or in the 10th and 11th houses, then the computer science and electronics, animation, graphical designing, all this engineering will be suitable for you. And let's say Mercury becomes the significator of 4th house or 5th house in any of these charts, D4 chart, D9 chart and D10 chart and the Lagna chart. Then the computer engineering and the communication engineering and the business management will be suitable for you. And let's say Moon is involved here as a fourth house or fifth house contributor, then the chemical engineering will be suitable for you and medicine also suitable for these people. And even the law, law and uh, so most of the people with the strong Moon in the fourth house or fifth house might emerge as a counselors as well. They can able to counsel the people very well. And let's say Saturn is involved in the fourth house or fifth house, then these people would take up civil engineering, mechanical engineering, petrochemical engineering, and mining engineering. Okay. Let's say Venus involved in the fourth house or fifth house contributor, then the textile industry, fashion, jewelry design, and uh, related to uh, understanding about the cosmetics, music industry, art industry. So they'll be doing a degree in terms of these aspects. So it's all depends on which of the planetary alignment is there. Let's say if Rahu, Venus, Moon and Mercury are combinedly involved with 4th house, 5th house, 9th house and 10th house. This person might do an electrical engineering but he will move into a software related profession because 4th house, 5th house talks by Moon and Mercury and uh, sorry Moon and Venus and Rahu and Mercury is involved in the 9th house and 10th house so this person will be taking the software related profession. Similar way if Jupiter is involved there then he, he will be suitable for the administrative roles such as teaching profession, chartered accountancy, bankers, insurers, okay, um, brokers, financial brokers. So all these things can be done by uh, if at all you have Jupiter as a significator in the 4th house and 5th house. Okay? And let's say Mars in the 4th house and Saturn in the 10th house, then this brings success in the civil engineering. Okay, And we have to see if at all there is any Parivartan Yoga happening between these planets and also most importantly the significators of 4th house and 5th house planets where exactly they are staying in the birth chart and which nakshatra they belongs to. All these things has to be thoroughly checked 
to find what kind of educational prospects will be suitable for you and what kind of profession you will be doing it in your career can be determined from the 9th house and the 10th house and the where exactly the money will be coming can be determined from the 2nd house and the 11th house. So for each area of our life there is certain significators in your birth chart we have to check that thoroughly it's not that something which I can able to tell you within 5 minutes. I have to see your birth chart, I have to analyze your birth chart from the astrological perspective. From there I, I can able to provide you the successful predictions in terms of understanding your birth chart in a way of educational prospects and the career prospects. Okay, so thank you so much for watching this video and if at all you need my consultations please book from the link that is mentioned in the description section and also if at all uh, you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel please do subscribe and click on that bell icon next to subscribe button so that you'll be notified for the future videos okay thank you so much and bye for now